Today I will tell you a fabulous way of developing interest of your children in computer programming. No, it is not Scratch. So let's begin. First open your favorite browser, open google.com and type code.org.learn. Press enter, click on the first search result. I will be also giving you uh, the link to this web page uh, in the video description. And now you can see what I'm talking about. These are one hour of coding exercises or code activities um, using characters from uh, famous uh, games like Minecraft, movies like Star Wars, uh, Frozen. And what better way of uh, developing interest of children in programming? I also recommend uh, that you sign in here um, because at the end of this one hour of code um, you will be also uh, given a certificate that you can print uh, with your child's name and you can print it, frame it and it will be so exciting for the children to see the, a certificate for their programming effort. I'll be using uh, Minecraft in this coding exercise uh, for this video uh, because it's a popular game. Let's click on it. Okay, uh, you can see that you can use um, all modern browsers, Android devices, iOS devices for doing this exercise. Let's click on start and we will be uh, clicking on this Minecraft Voyage Aquatic because this is the beginning level. Okay, so this, um, this, uh, there's this video coming up and I would recommend that you see it because it will be helpful in doing this video, uh, this programming exercise. I will be skipping it because otherwise uh, my video will be too long. So let's get started. Choose your character, Steve or Alex. I will be choosing Alex. So we have been taken to the first uh, exercise. Does it say There's, there are these instructions here? You need supplies for the voyage ahead. Collect a boat from the chest. Okay, we have this Minecraft screen here with Alex standing here. There's a chest in front of her. We have to reach this chest according to the instructions. We have this run button here, the orangish uh, mustard button. We have these blocks, uh, this area containing the blocks. These are the programming blocks that you can use to make your program and how to make your program by dragging these blocks to this workspace this is the workspace where your actual program resides so uh, they have already done uh, one uh, they have already put one block of programming here um, it says move forward and this will uh, take us here. So we have to put in another move forward to complete the program. So let's do that. We can do it very easily by dragging it and fitting it like a puzzle below the first move forward. So what does this program say? When run, when this button is clicked, do whatever that comes afterwards. So what will it do? Move forward, move forward. So let's start it, okay? Okay, so yes, yeah, so she has reached the chest. So this is the exercise number two. Uh, the instructions say, boats are much easier than swimming in open water. Head to the end of the dock to hop aboard. So we have to reach the end of this dock and hop onto our boat. So what do we have to do? We have to move forward, we have to turn right, they have given us a turn right block and then we have to move forward to reach the boat. So let's begin. First we move forward, drag and drop, move forward below when run. Run is when run is when run this button is clicked. Move forward, turn right, turn right to face the boat and then move forward I think a couple of times so move forward two times and let's 
test our code. If at any point the code doesn't work, no problem. Just reset it and start it all over. That code again. See, it says reset, so we can, you know, reset it. But we have like com completed this puzzle. Exercise number three, uh, the instructions say, grab the oars and pilot your boat across the open seas to catch the cord. So we have, we are sitting in the boat and we have to reach this cord to catch it. Okay, so um, at this point in time, we just have to move forward. We don't have to turn left or right anywhere. We just have to move forward. And uh, there's this hint here about the number of move forwards we need. It says that we need at least eight blocks to complete this code so i'm will be using this step to put seven move forwards here because that will make the total eight five six seven the reason why I'm using this tip is because I, you really don't know how many move forwards you need. So it's better to use this tip here that you need eight blocks. So now our total blocks are eight and this code should run. So let's run it. Yay, we have reached the card. Okay, so we are on exercise four and the instructions say, let's feed the cord to the dolphin. Use a repeat until block to get across the ocean faster. So what is a repeat until block? Repeat until block is basically a loop. A loop is a programming construct that we use uh, when we have to do the same thing again and again. So what does it say? Repeat until goal. So what is the goal? The goal is to, to feed the cord to the dolphin here. And uh, instead of uh, writing those, uh, dragging those move forwards and putting them, so many of them there, we will be just doing it in a loop. So um, you just put one move forward here. Instead of, remember we used those seven move forwards uh, we will be needing just this one move forward and by using this one move forward and this loop uh, inside this loop we will be able to reach the cord because this move forward uh, will be done uh, until we reach the goal okay so let's try this code okay So, see, it's so simple. Okay, exercise number five. Instructions say, there's a Nautilus shell hidden somewhere. Explore the shipwreck to reach the chest. So basically, this, this is a shipwreck which we have to explore and we have to explore it to reach the chest. So, uh, they've already put some uh, blocks here and let's see what they will be doing. Uh, we will be moving forward, then another forward, so obviously this, should, this will not work. So, what we have to do is basically, uh, let's look at what's happening here. So basically she's swimming and she's moving forward uh, again and again. So this is not correct. So just delete it. So what do we have to do? Again, repeat until goal. Uh, the loop will work um, until we reach the goal. And what should we put in the goal? Uh, let's first reset it so that we are. Uh, she's back to the previous position. So what do we have to do? Uh, we have to turn in this direction basically and then start moving forward and then uh, this will require a turn right so we will turn right 
and then we will move forward so this should take us here somewhere here and then we need another move forward and when we will reach the last move forward we will be taken to the beginning of the loop and then we will turn right again and then we will move forward again until we reach the chest okay so let's run this code so see turning right twice moving forward and she's there and she has found the nautilus shell So friends, we have completed almost half of the exercise. I will do the remaining exercise in part 2 of this video. I hope you liked part 1 of my intro to programming video. Thank you and goodbye.